Sorry, I just had to blow the dust off my microphone. I haven't used this puppy in a long time. I am so glad to be back. Welcome everybody to another doozy of a video. Another Halo Wars commentary video. I hope you're excited. Uh, I'm really, really happy about this video. We've got some awesome players we're going up against today, uh, including, but not limited to, uh, some of the best players in the world. Um, you'll be seeing them a little later on. Just a sneak peek. We've got uh, Turnip versus Smooth Tube, who I would consider the best player in the world, best player of all time. Uh, then we're going to be going up against Marco Style. And we also have Mr. Pig. Squeal. He's going to be in there a little bit later. Uh, also, there's a set from Cars and Camera. Cars and Camera. Cars and Cameras, I think it is. Plural. Who is a professional Halo Wars 2 player. Uh, formerly known as Words of Sorrow. He had a Halo Wars 1 YouTube channel. Uh, so, yeah. We'll be seeing him later on. And I think there's a few others. This is just a random game here. I played this one a little more recently here. It's a Forge Mirror. Uh, we'll just we'll get into this. I'll explain a little explain a little more later. But happy to be back. Happy to be back. Um, this Anders here. I wanted to scout him out. Looks like he went reactor second. I think. So I'm gonna queue up my gunner because I know Anders is gonna beat me to gunner on this map, and I'm gonna just get right out of that center there. I don't want to stick around. And look at that, he's already got Gunner, so I need to get out of there because I don't want to lose any Warthogs at all. But it's been quite, quite a interesting couple of months. I think my last 1v1 video was like in May, Some, sometime in May. Um, but just a lot has happened. I've learned a lot as a Halo Wars player. This game was played maybe two to three days before I'm actually recording this video. So this is kind of a more recent one, like I said earlier. Uh, I'm going to get decent hog trade here with the Anders. going to kind of whittle down some of those. And I'm actually, it looks like I'm going to be up in hog numbers too. Uh, I'm a little bit closer to my base as well, so... You know, the defender's advantage is going to play in there. I'm going to uh, take control of this healing ring. It's so crucial that you do on this map. It's it's going to decide a lot of things. It's going to let you get those hog heals for free. And really help you maintain the hog numbers. But yeah, some developments in the turnip, turnip uh, Halo Wars career, as you could say. Uh, I had a really fun matchup against Orca. Uh, I think it was like two weeks ago. Uh, it was a soul... It was, it was a, not a soul-crushing defeat. It was a, a well-fought match, but I did take the L. So I just want to say GG's to Orca. And maybe someday I'll come back for you. I'll be training some more. And uh, yeah, so that happened. I'm also considering doing a Halo Wars tournament near the end of November of this year of 2022. I'm thinking of doing a 3v3 tournament, but I just got to work out the details. Maybe I will talk to Orca because he has run a few tourneys before, and we'll see uh, see how this is going to go. But yeah, I've uh, been playing a lot recently. I've been learning a lot been playing some of the Halo Wars mod as well. I was finally convinced to do that and I'm I'm glad that I was convinced but I'm sad it took me so long to to try out some of the mods because they're actually really really well made and if you've got PC I highly recommend you check out the leader overhaul mod on Steam or Windows Store. Yeah they they did such a good job. Uh, but I'm going to Pelican over some Marines here to take these reactors. Try to get some early lead. I know I'm going to have a little better eco than the Anders. He's going to be forced to upgrade those pads if he wants to keep up with me. 
Um, he's on a fortress as well. But I have both of the reactors. Pretty early on, too. Augs really aren't uh, harassing me as much as I thought they would be, so I'm assuming he's started to cut the hogs or not really build them. And we've got uh, we've got a canister shell. There's a few hogs. We're about even on hogs. I think he just rebuilt a few, but I'm gonna lose one there, so that's not good. But I got my tank coming over now. He's shooting at that flood stock, so. You know, we're only only doing the most uh, most important things. I'm going to delete the barracks. I've got Canny queued up. And I'm going to opt for a double depot. Hopefully, if I can just control one of these, I won't need to throw up a second reactor. I can get a little bit more money. I was kind of worried there that he bought this base. Because if you ever get an Anders on a second base in a UNSC mirror, it becomes like 10 times more harder. 10 times harder. Thicker, you could say, because that means they can start making double gremlins. Like right here, you see just two gremlins is enough to do a lot of damage. I thought he was going to pelican a Spartan right on top of my head and just go Sigma sicko mode and just completely humiliate me there. But alas, I was I was not. But I, I see Spartans are coming out and we're going going for a lot of grems. So I'm going to pull back, get some heals on this guy. And just kind of bide my time. I really can't do anything right now until I get a little more, a little more troops. Should have kept one of those hogs alive. That's a lot of must, a lot of mustard. I'm missing out on a lot of money. Want to do a quick shout out here to some of the members. Well, all of the members because I can count all of you guys on two hands. We've got Ronald Miller. Thank you, Ronald. Sicko Care Bear, Sal, my boy Co Goggins, what's up Goggins, I, how's it going, and then we've got Chemical, Chemical X C, and then myself and uh, my other account are the other members, so hello my, hello Turnip, thank you for being a channel member, um, I'm gonna try to get the hijack off here, but these tanks are a little too powerful with canister shell, so I'm gonna be able to kill that Spartan, even though I was stunned for a little while. Um, I'm gonna push the advantage as well, because I just wanna kill all of these gremlins as fast as possible. Can't let them get those stuns back. It's just gonna be way worse for me. That stun's gonna come off there. I'm going to prioritize here the Spartan. Ooh, didn't quite get the hijack. Heartbreaking. And look at that. My black bar tank is going to get some nice free heals. We'd like to see. Uh, but yeah, thank you to all the channel members. I really appreciate y'all appreciate supporting me. Ooh, I'm going to catch this nice base here. And to everybody who supports the streams and donates... Um, like Busky, uh, Sniper Omega. We've got the wonderful Harambe, who has just been so generous over these streams. I just got to really say thank you. Uh, hope you guys are doing well. Uh, quick shout out to my boy from the swamp, Shrek. What are you doing in my swamp? My boy Shrek. Thank you for your support. Prague Devoted, the unpaid moderator, the... How do I say, uh, the defender of turnip vids, the one and only, the inventor of the Canadian air pad, a revolutionary Halo War strat. I might have to dedicate a video to that someday, honestly. Um, but yeah, Prague Devoted, aka Ak Etkerfelt. Yeah, make sure if you're new, if you're new to the Discord, um, ask Prague Devoted about the Canadian airport. Um, he's been working on it for a few years now, and, uh, it is the fastest way to Hawks on Anders. Yep. Looks like he opted for Neural Implant on those Spartans, those Spartanks. We don't have too many, but I'm gonna be able to kill my traitorous tank that decided to 
decided to leave me. And that's going to be the game. GG. GG. All right, this is the first game up against Cars and Camera. Cars has been around the, the worst community from a, for a very long, very long time, from what I know. Uh, played a lot of Halo Wars 1. Now he primarily, primarily plays Halo Wars 2. I see him, I tend to see him playing a lot on uh, Yodesla streams, going up against some of the best Halo Wars 2 players in the world. So I would say he's definitely not someone to be trifled with. But we're going to get Cutter. Cutter Brute. And yeah, these games were played... I'm trying to remember. No, I'm, oh, I've got the... Got the timestamp right here. It was in June. June of 2022. So that's a few months before I'm making this video. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention too... Uh, I'm back from my trip. I was gone for, uh, I was gone for, oh, like two and a half weeks. I was overseas. I was in Europe visiting the wonderful nations of the United Kingdom and then uh, Deutschland, uh, Germany. Spent some time in Germany. And lastly, we went to España. And Barcelona, Catalonia. We got to take a look at the beautiful Spanish countryside. So yeah, that was uh, that was awesome. I had a great time. Lots of lots of crazy memories. That uh, you know, if you have any questions, feel free to ask me on stream. I'll try to rattle off some stories, or maybe I'll uh, I'll do a, a turn of PowerPoint. You know, kind of like when you go to your grandma's house after they get back from vacation and they put the projector on and they flip through all the photos and they make you sit there for three hours and watch everything so yeah uh, I'm gonna come up here with gunner I want to get gunner early against the brute um, I think he went for temple second I've been kind of learning the build orders but I'm gonna be able to uh, kill one of those brutes there and uh, I'm going to have to run away from this chieftain. Yeah, I've been playing some games. Marco Style has been kind enough to uh, do do some more training matches with me. Kind of like Jiraiya Sensei from Naruto. And uh, teaching me the error of, of my ways sometime. But we've been practicing a lot of Brute. Brute, uh, brute versus UNSC. I mean, this is more recently. Not... You know, this is within the past like few weeks or so, not not this long ago. I didn't, I don't, I still uh, to this day don't really know what I'm doing. But uh, yeah, here we go. Uh, I kept those hogs alive. That's really important. Don't want to lose those. I'm gonna be throwing up a barracks as well, because I know the brute's gonna be aggressive with those brute squads, and especially the brute chieftain. And I'm going to opt for a double barracks. Local units. Throw some flamers out. Local units. Local units. So yeah, the brute might have a tougher time pushing on the cutter because of the, you know, the instant fortress. So that might be why we haven't seen him quite yet. And I also opted for the barracks in case of, uh, you know, in case of any rates, I'll try to throw some Spartans out there and and deal with them that way. Uh, 2022 is it's been a it's been a good year overall. I've had some trials and tribulations, lots of changes in my life, uh, for the better, some for the worse. But, no, I wouldn't say the worst, actually. Just lots of changes. Change isn't necessarily a bad thing, but had some had some ups and downs, you could say, this year. And all those black bar hogs I was talking about keeping, I just lost pretty much all of them. So that's wonderful. And he also double turreted his base, and he's going for a factory sixth. 
factory six with heavy pads. So that's a really strong brute position to be in. And I don't have too much back at home here. Um, but yeah, most of the, most of the people that enjoy these videos here, I want to get your attention early on in the video. Um, uh, you know, I'm just, I'm trying to think of some more ideas for the channel. I want to get some feedback. Uh, I don't want to do the, just the same old thing over and over again for everybody, unless that's what you like, but please comment what your, uh, if there's anything else that you want to see, like. I did get a, a request for some more 2v2 videos, so maybe I'll play some more of those. Or if there's uh, anything else that you might like to see me play or whatnot, just uh, feel free to comment down below if, uh, if you got, got any suggestions. I think we're going to have a good end of the year, and uh, yeah, it should be an eventful fall. Well, fall for the United States. I think it's like springtime for the southern hemisphere of the planet or something. Oh, also another announcement for for the month of October. Uh, the streams are not going to be on Saturdays. They're going to be on Sunday nights. Uh, simply because my uh, I have a uh, part part-time Halloween haunted house job that I do every year. And that takes up my weekend nights. So I won't be able to play on the... Not going to be able to play on uh, Saturday nights. for Just for the month of October. Then we go back to normal. So Spooky Sundays is going to be temporarily... Temporarily on hold. Until that. Until that's over. So I'm gonna get I got my Spartans out. He's got Wraiths, he's got Brutes. I'm gonna try to push in here and find some hijack, but he's gonna I get one. I'm gonna be able to secure one. I'm gonna run these other Spartans away. He's gonna vortex that down. It's actually really really tough to get those Spartan hijacks unless you get multiple. Because that brute can just either vortex. I mean look how look how many brutes he has. He's stacked like five or six. I, I probably should have switched out of my barracks a lot faster than I did. But what can you do? I'm going to try to come for the surround here. Yeah, this is a notorious choke point for these uh, wraiths here. Try to get a second hijack off. Yeah, I'm going to throw out the panic elephant there and try to make some more Spartans. But it's it's really over at this point just because there, I can't kill any of these. I don't have any turrets in the front. And I was really late on my... Uh, really late on that air pad there. I think the air pad was an okay idea for the Wraiths. But tanks might have been the better play just to deal with all the brutes. Oh, so, yeah. That's going to be the end of that shit. As my great Mima used to say. She didn't really say that. She's a lovely woman. Next up, we're on the Chasms. The Chasms. We're going up... Uh, we went random all this game here. I'm going to get Brute, as you can tell from my two population. Chopper is the only... Only Covenant that's going to have the two population right at the start, so... Let's you plan a little earlier. You know, that split second really makes a huge difference. Ready. Local units. Local units. Ready. Ready. I'm going to go Temple first. Um, this is notoriously a very tough matchup for the Arbiter. Just because the the Arby has a, a tough time dealing with the uh, Brute aggression. If 
you get over there fast enough, if you can sort of starve the Arbiter, as it were. Starve him. He can't really afford to rage down the Brutes, especially if you pair them with something else. But I'm going to play a little more safe here. I'm not going to immediately rush over to his side. I'm going to uh, take my hook. And uh, I'm going to try to get an early eco lead against him. Because the brute can definitely take this hook, no problem, but the Arbiter struggles. Because of those suicide grunts, they don't have a, they don't have as much DPS. So the those grunts, uh, you're you're gonna have to rage a few of those, either rage a few of those uh, rebels there, or just wait. You know, wait until you get jackals or something, which is a lot of a lot of lost harvesting time. You know. But I'm going to get that, so taking that with relatively low damage on the Chieftain is awesome. And there's not too much he can do right now to take me out of that because he doesn't have any, you know, no jackals or anything like that. So I'm going to be able to stay in here for a little while. Some suicide grunts are coming through. So I'm going to come on back over here, start training up some grunt squads. Gonna kill that. So he might think I'm on one pad, but possibly not. I'm gonna get a really, really nice catch on these here. They were running over. So that's a lot. And this early in the game, losing losing those is very is very it's rough. That's just that's a lot of money. One, two, three. Uh, I don't know what that's 16 times three. Quick mass, 32. Something 40, 400, 500, I don't know. Some amount of money there. But that's just a lot of resources to lose in the early set of the game. Especially if you don't have your hook yet. And it saved that pad I had. So I'm going to get that second pad up. And now, I, I'm not going to play defense here. I'm just going to, I'm going to go push right up here. I should be queuing that other pad while he's slapping that one down. And the jackal numbers are gotta they gotta be really low right now. Got a few jackals out. He's got some more suicide grunts, but again I'm on the I'm on the hook right now, so it's not gonna be too unfortunate if I lose this. I'm not gonna be starved. Whereas he's probably hurting a little bit more. He's got he's got some jackals up. I like he puts them. See how he puts them there. That's what you want to do with the jackals. He puts them next to his buildings, so it's very difficult to rage them down. And he, he's going to be forced to come back because I just do so much more damage than him to the base as brute. Turret's coming up, and when his arbiter comes in, I'm just going to put the damage on him. And then just target back to the base. Local units. Local units. The Arbiter's Local very weak units. right now. Local units. 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 Warehouse complete. You are victorious. That's going to be it. That's going to be the game there. Tough matchup to win, but still, uh, you know, we take dubs whenever we can, folks. All right, uh, next one here. Little game on Perth outskirts. Arby versus Anders. It's a, uh, you know, it's a matchup for sure. Um... I don't really remember what my plan was going into this. I, I know I just, I did not want to expo because, you know, if I expo, the Arbiter's just going to throw suicide grunts into the base because, you know, Anders and Forge had that really weak, <clears throat> that really weak fire base that they start off with. So it's really hard to do. 
<clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, so I'm going to be going for some hogs here. Some more hogs. going to go for a reactor second, it looks like. Get that, get that gunner, that gunner running. So even though the Arbiter is, is really good at killing hogs, you just got to be better at hiding your hogs than the Arbiter is at finding, finding them, if that makes sense. Under attack. Gunner, research. All units. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's getting that, uh, you got that pad upgraded already. It's pretty fast. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Moving out. I'm going to secure some crates here. I uh, want to get a barracks up as well <clears throat> because of the Local units. reactors that are surrounding the map. And I'm going to just put a little bit of damage on that there. Put that one hog. Looks like he already got his his reactor from what it looks like. Bad position to be in from me right there. Definitely should not have... Kind of left that guy there. And there goes, uh, there goes all my warthogs, so... There goes, uh, there goes that plan. So instead of hogs, it looks like, uh, I'm gonna be going into some RPG Marines. Eco's not looking too hot. It's pretty, pretty low right now. So I'm very vulnerable at this point in time. I think I got flashbang. No, I did not get flashbang. Local units. We're going. Local units. I'm gonna try to take him out of this reactor here. Local units. It's kind of be annoying. Deny him any sort of like tech two, like locusts or. Hopefully try to stop some stop some uh, upgrades if I can. Suicide Grunts are just so weak as well. Don't really stand a chance against the Mighty Flamer. Oh, another update. The the I Hate Mr. Mr. Pig coffee mugs are, are complete and they're being sent out. I sent out two today. And the rest are going to be shipped out shortly once I get a few more brown boxes. New blood. Research. Standing by. We're going. He's still on a keep, so I'm gonna walk that flamer up there, I guess. Standing by. Local units. Local units. Local units. And here comes the hall. So he's gonna be going for some jackals, it looks like. Units. Queue up adrenaline. I'm gonna get RPG. I don't have any flamer upgrades though. That's kind of sad. But I'm gonna go for a double barracks here. Economy is not the greatest right now. It looks like from uh, from that his is not either. Local units. Local units. Barracks complete. I want to stack these up a little bit more, but I'm really hurting until adrenaline's done. Then I'm gonna get rid of that field armory. Managed to get a turret up in the back. That's that's something. Still got that there. But I'm I'm just I'm stuck in my base right now. I really can't do anything. I've kind of given up the map control. Local units. That being said, I'm gonna try to take a sneaky expansion here. 
but he's gonna see that with the jackals coming in. So in a way, I'm gonna have to make him choose to either go to go to my expo or stay here. Give me a little bit of breathing room. Got some, uh, got some Marines out right now. Got some RPG means Marines, and they got adrenaline on them, so they're going to be pretty speedy. And I'm going to try to take out, take this base here as well. Try to get some pads on it if I can. All units. <laughs> He's definitely going for beam rifle, which is what you should do if you see your opponent going Marines. Also, want to shout out uh, one of my favorite fans, Chief and the Gang. Chief from Down Under. The uh, the wonderful fan from from the Australia. Sending me some Vegemite. I'm, I'm pretty excited to try that out. And joining us on the table is Dante. Kind of sitting in front of my recording screen, so I can st I can see the game, but I really can't see much else, like my timeline and my uh, editing buttons. <clears throat> but that's okay; we don't really need them. Half pop of Marines. He placed a lot of jackals over here. And I'm gonna push into this. I don't know if that was my smartest idea I've ever had. And uh, try to kill some of these jackals here. Thin them out. Definitely think flamers might have been the way to go. But I'm getting the hint now. Local units. Reactor flame. Get flashbang there. Local units. We have adrenaline though, so that's nice. That's gonna help a lot. Local units. Local units. That base is still alive though, so I'm gonna get a heal off on it. I do have two pads up on it, so I don't know what my rate of return has been on that. Hopefully, uh, I feel like it's been worth it for sure. Got flashbang. I'm going to start uh, making some, some flamers. Got a pretty terrible economy right now. Well, actually, no, I, I forgot about that base. Got three pads up on it. So uh, it's not as bad as I thought. Dante's wagging his tail. His tail almost got caught in the... in my webcam. Like the cord for it. He almost pulled it down. Got a few more jackals back here, but I've got flashbang this time. Be able to uh, stun them. Be able to micro those flashbangs and take control of that. That base is still living, so that's good. I'm buying myself a lot of time. Those are, I just clicked on them there, those are, uh, those are Supreme Gauntlet Jackals. So, that's really bad. Okay, 
units. Ready, sir. All units. We're going. Marines on the ground, sir. All units. We're going. Marines, good Thank you, yeah. Stand All right, he's, he's moving now. This Arby's coming in. I'll try to get some damage off on him. He's just so strong. He's got those upgrades. Really not going to be enough. And I'm just going to... I'm going to kind of lose everything I have. So, yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna throw the towel in. Not much more I can do. I'm really behind in the eco. So, I... I yeah, that that's about it. All right, now we've got ourselves a uh, cutter mirror on, on chasms. This is also versus cars and camera. Cars and cameras, uh, plural. There's an S at the end. And I'm going to opt for an elephant first here. So I can go and take my resource elevator. Now, there's a few different things you can do. You can go for a barracks. You can go for some hogs. Or you can go for an elephant. I can tell that he did not go for an elephant because a hog just popped out of that thing. So he's definitely not, definitely not building anything there. Elephants are slow and steady, slow and true. We don't see them very often in the competitive, <clears throat> the competitive matchups. So. You know, it's always a treat when we can see this this fat ass fat ass tank moving its way around the battlefield. You know, I mean no I mean no disrespect with that, of course, but she's uh she's a beast. So I'm gonna position this kinda close to the sniper tower. Build a few hogs myself. And I'm going to be going for, it looks like a reactor third here. All units. I might have wanted to, I might have wanted to have done reactor fourth because I've got all these units I'm trying to build at the same time. I'm going to let the Marines slip by here. I'm going to have the Rebels aggro the elephant. So that way I can just keep as much health on these Marines as possible. And once you've got like two in this here, Got like one in the elevator, another one in the sniper tower. You're you're pretty good. You're you'll you'll take that no problem. Base under attack. We've got some hog aggression coming on my base, and I don't I don't like it. But he's targeting the pad that's already been built, so. I don't know if that's the most effective use of them because, you know, I had one that was building. You could have maybe done a little more damage. What can you do? And, you know, one of the cool things about Cutter is he starts with that fortress, so it's going to be a little bit easier to get these get these buildings up. You know, I'm, I'm expecting him to kill that supply pad, so I'm preemptively building another one there rather than you know, queuing up my tech too. Just want to get my eco back on par. So this turret's going to come up. I got gunner on some of my hogs. And I sent the elephant home just to provide some extra defense here. It's committed quite a bit into hogs where I haven't as much. So I think I'm going to have a little bit faster scorpion, you know, factory thingy you know the thing that makes the tanks that thing that's what we're looking for i'm gonna build a few more hogs just to you know just to help out here while this elephant kind of tanks some shots i want to get back over to the turret as well you know you always want to fight with your turret no point in not so that elephant is just taking a lot of hits there and even though, even though I don't I don't have that many hogs, it's still gonna be still be able to hold on here. 
gonna upgrade some of these pads too. Oh, I didn't see, but it looks like I actually lost my hook. If you look in the mini map, yeah, he just took that over. So he must have snuck some flamers up through there. Uh, but I just clicked on his, and he does not have his. So he has mine, but he did not have his. So that means he was a little bit behind in the eco because he didn't have his hook. So it's kind of equaling out now. The longer I let him have that, the more it will equal out. Really need to get this first tank out, though. That's going to, you know, give me a lot more map presence. Local units. Local units. Local and he units. did just get that, so that's, that's bad. Local units. Local Cannot allow him to stay on two, two hooks like that. I'm going to queue up another elephant rather than going for a barracks because I really only need I only need marines just to put in that thing and maybe a few spartans so I'm going to build that elephant so I don't have to delete a pad should have killed those flamers there but I guess those hogs were coming back anyways His depot, I did beat him to the depot, so he's going to be having his tanks out a little bit later than mine. So that's something there. We got two tanks and an elephant, though, so we should be able to take that back and with relative ease. Pump a few flamers out of that out of that baby. All units. He does not have the towers in the middle. I was looking for that, but he does have all three towers here from what it looks like. All units. Not, not quite sure why I sent my scorpion back. Maybe I was expecting him to push in, so I wanted to be a little bit closer to my my base here. Ready, sir. Just checking right now. I want to see if he has any sort of, if he's going for a third reactor at all. Cause you know, we don't, we don't need that. We don't want him getting the canister shell. He's been, he's been in there for quite a long time. And it actually he just has flamers in those from what it looks like. So this shouldn't be too difficult to take out. Keeping the tanks up. That barracks is gone, so Tech 3 did come out from, from what it looks like. I'm going to get this back. That's going to be nice. We like that extra cash. And here comes, uh, here comes the, the push here. He does have three Spartan tanks. But I've got five regular tanks. I'm going to fake the Mac Blast there. And I'm going to make a little, I'm going to make an interesting switch there. We're going into a Chip Skylark air pad. We're going to be pumping some stock Hornets out to take care of these. Mac's coming down. Nice kill here. I'm going to outnumber these two here. He's got his own Mac coming in. I'm going to lose two tanks. One of them was pretty weak, but... Yeah, it's unfortunate. I want to kill that Spartan first. Don't want him to hijack me. Kill that Flamer there. Send us in. Send us in. Send us in. 
And I don't think he's on canister shell quite yet. I'm going to have to queue up another Marine. It looks like I'm going to actually walk that one over from what I can see. Instead of building up another one. I don't know if that would have been just easier for me to build one out of there. But I did lose two tanks, and I think he lost. I think he lost two as well. All units. Moving. Out. The Chip Skylark air pad always comes with the vehicle depot. Keep him guessing. That advanced reactor is going to allow me to make some tanks. And I should have enough money coming in from that side hook to pump some some hornets at the same time. Vehicle depot complete. I'm gonna take this for the vision over here. Send us in. Standing by. Moving. All units. I wanna get the one that's a little bit closer to, to closer to his base so that way I can see if there's any you know if there's any tanks coming through I get a little earlier notice than I normally would local units some nice vision I wanted to make sure he didn't take that base but we catch us we we find each other right here he didn't heal that tank and I'm gonna just start shooting these uh these hornets on these guys here Hornets just got absolutely melted. But he did have a chain gun Spartan, so they were a little stronger than usual. Local units. Local units. All units. I'm gonna find this, that's very nice. He's gonna force he's gonna be forced to cancel that. Enemy engagement. All units. Can't let him have that there. So I'd say the game's kind of rolled back to like an even footing. Enemy engagement. It's got some Wolverines out now, so these Hornets are going to be pretty much useless. So I'm going to opt back into Tech 3, and I noticed that that, that depot is queuing up canister shell, so I decided to mac it, buy myself some time. And he's gonna have to rebuild that vehicle depot now, because I think he was he was just on the one. That was a big big catch from me there. That Hornet finished it off. Reactor complete. Yeah, you can. Again, if you don't know, if you see that vehicle depot's arm, like the what do you call them, like the welding things. You know, like the sparks flying. If there's a little arm that moves across back and forth, and it goes really slow when there's an upgrade processing. But if like there's a, if you're building like a scorpion or a wolverine, it goes a lot faster. It's it's visually different. Candy Down Tech here. Copyright Shrek. A man Shrek's favorite strat. Candy down tech into a double depot. Local depot complete. Local units. Out. All units. He's definitely got that depot back up. Out. And Candy is probably researching for him right now. I'm checking for turrets there. No turrets. I'm going to try a little sneak attack here. All units. All units. Out. We're going to go right around the base. I don't think he can see me. I'm pretty sure he didn't see me. I tried to stay as close to this wall as I could to avoid any uh, sight from that, uh, what you call it. But he, he saw me there. He queued up that Mac Blast. So I got the depot candied. I'm just going to pull out now. I just kind of wanted to poke in there and uh, you know take that out. 
I've got good line of sight here. I can start to do a little bit of damage to these pads. There's his tanks. I'm gonna dodge that Mac. That's a huge dodge. That's a lot of money. And I've got a few more canister shells, canister shell tanks than he does. So he's kind of, I don't know if he's stuck there or if he's just taking this fight, but it's its a, a tough fight to win when you're outnumbered like, with this many canister shells. So I'm gonna just press the, press the attack. Insta candy that tank there. I noticed there's a tank coming from this way. So that's kind of weird that, you know, a tank would come from that way just by itself. So that makes me think he has this base. And I'm assuming it's not as fortified as this one. So I'm going to just transition right over here. Yep, sure enough, he, he, he does, that little sneaky devil. I'm gonna just aim main here and try to kill this thing quickly. Get these tanks healed up. Saving my cannies for when those tanks come out. I'm not gonna use them on the buildings. It's, it's more important to take the units out. But even though he's on two bases, he's really not going to be able to catch up with the amount of tanks I have. So I'm on a double pump right now. and Should be able to uh, clean this up here. I'm just able to instantly kill anything that comes out. And that's going to wrap up that game there. He's on that triple reactor there. Triple single reactors. Cool. Yep, on to the next game. Switching the maps up. Switching the leaders up. We've got a reverse of that matchup from Perth, but now we're on Tundra. It's going to be me as the Arbiter and cars and camera. I keep I keep messing that up. Cars and cameras as the profit. Let's scout for some crates. Couple second. Couple seconds, a little better eco. Well, it's not a little better. It's a lot better eco than Temple First, but I'm gonna take a ram on that there. You know, tactical ram. Not what you want to do, by the way, but I do it just just because I'm not good, I guess. Back up from this guy here, and if you spam move with the ghost, if you're giving the ghost a move command like this, they're not going to be able to be... Okay, no, I was wrong. They, they definitely can be rammed. <laughs> you just have to do it better than I did it. And yeah. My ghost still lives, though, so maybe I'll send him off to find a crate somewhere else. Like right there. I'm going to queue up some suicide grunts from when it looks like. I, I honestly can't remember what I was thinking. Here, it's been a few... When did this game get played? Oh, yeah, same day, same day. June 30th. Yeah. So I'm going to run up here just in case there's a hog waiting for me. And I'm going to queue up a turret just so I don't have to uh, come back home as much. Cross turrets from the looks of it. There'll be no hogs. <clears throat> no hogs on this base. None whatsoever. Uh, the money is probably gone by this point. I want to upgrade these pads. Honor, point the way. 
And I'm gonna see if I can maybe take out one of his warehouses. <clears throat> Local units. Local units. Hope everybody's been doing well. We're almost close to an hour into the video. We got a few more to go. Go survive somehow. I'm surprised. Local units. Local units. We're still on station here. We got a single upgraded pad. I'm going to head over there. Hogs are out. He missed some crates back here, so I'm going to take those. Happily take those crates. But I don't see his hogs. I, I saw him building them. Um... But I do not see where they are. No upgrades on my Arbiter yet. Gotta be careful. You could debomb me and run in and try to kill me. I'm gonna get a nice suicide run off there. Something just killed, uh,. That probably war dogs, and there's the D bomb, it's right in front of my base, so I can't actually recall. Which, uh, yeah, I mean, I guess at this point, that's there's nothing I can really do at, at home, so I'm just gonna keep slicing this. I'm getting my summit up, that turret's doing some damage. I'm gonna queue up another back turret. Got a suicide grunt. I'm gonna use that to hit one of these, uh, hit one of these warthogs. Oh, I didn't get a kill though. That's unfortunate. Quite a lot of hogs there, but I mean, he's really only just gonna deny my summit for a little bit. Once that depot is gone, I'll be able to come back. Got another, got another turret up. D bomb's gone now. I do trade for that hog there. 160 for the for the 150 hog. It's about even. <clears throat> you uh, if you're going against an Anders, <clears throat> from my experience, if they're if they're going mass hogs, you're usually gonna go banshees. And you're going to try to get your Banshee upgrades to to fight the Hogs. Ideally, you'll, you'll go into, uh, you'll go into repeating cannon. <clears throat> but that's been cleared out. Still on a station there, so no fortress. I'm assuming he's just stacking hog numbers up. He's he's got to have a lot of them. Local units. Local units. I see the way. I'm thinking about deleting that there for that extra cash, but I decide against it and I'm going to queue up this I'm going to queue this one up here. He's got a scout hog in the back there. So there goes that hog. And yeah, I'm going to I'm going to just keep my arbiter here, try to hold this base down. And then let's see if we can find his expo. Well, he cleared it out, but he didn't take it yet, so that's good. He's still on a single pump. From what it looks like. He did get a fortress. All units. And he is going for a field armory. So I know he's he's committing to the Goths. He'll be going for reserves here. All units. I'm going to recall the Arbiter. I'm going to send him on over. I can't even I don't I don't remember if I got the upgrades for him yet. There's a few hogs. Got those out of there. I lost one. 
Not good. Shield generator complete. Shields up. That's great. These gunner hogs aren't going to be able to push that shield. So I can start putting some pads on it. No mercy. All units. All units. Local units. Local I'm opting for a shield generator myself on the main. Local units. They don't want to get stripped by a bunch of goss hogs. Got Gren now. D bomb's probably almost back. It's been it's been a while, so killed that base. Local units. I'm gonna recall and uh, start going to work. Shield generator complete. I got so many hogs. I pretty much killed all of them. All units. You are victorious. Yeah, and it's it's just gonna he's gonna lose too many hogs to really be effective, especially with myself on an expo like that. Not gonna be good. All units. Alrighty. Here we go. This is what we've been waiting for. All units. The little piggy. The, the big bacon man himself, Mr. Pig. We got some games against the Piggy. Local units. And I'm playing as Shoes Buddy Undercover. All units. Mr. Pig did not know who I was when we were playing this game. And uh, I will I will go into the story of the... How do you say? The, the humiliation of of the piggy but we're gonna start off here uh he got cutter i got arbiter on chasms here and i'm gonna offer a factory second kind of a weirder build but he's gonna be going barracks first and i feel like i can punish that with these ghosts here Any of the cats up here. I've got some burps. Burps now. Just had a sip of some fruit juice. Able to dodge those. Uh, dodge those. Uh, those grenades there. Flamers, I'm not really worried about because I can kite those, but I want to kill those Marines because those those grenades can really damage All units. really damage a uh, a ghost, and I, and I lose one there. That's not good. Warehouse complete. All units. But it's it's uh fairly simple to kite those Marines if you're paying attention. But he got some good grenades off there, so I'm gonna I'm gonna lose some of these ghosts here. It's very hard to hit these ghosts with those grenades. They're just so fast. I'm going to be able to shut down the Marines for now. And I'm going to see if I can do some more some more damage here. Locking his base down, that's good. I want to keep those numbers alive. And he does have some hogs too. I did not expect him uh, to have have hogs. I'm gonna get my temple online and he's gonna unlock here. Hey, just look how uh look how weak those ghosts are just against two hogs. Pretty much all die, especially with that marine support. I am going. I am going. 
I am going. So I'm gonna just send these ghosts out and we're gonna take the map over. Try to find some some crates. He's gonna push in here. Arbiter's gonna come out. Send him the wrong way. He's gonna get out of there though. Start queuing up some wraiths now. I am local units. About time. Honor. I really should be upgrading some pads. My blade is ready. Local units. He does not have that yet, so I'm gonna rage run over there. I know he's got a barracks up. I want to try and stop that if I can. Stop him from getting that. Awesome, nothing yet. Local units. Local units. No more waiting. Enemy engagement. Local units. All units. Very well. Get some nades off here. About time. Local units. My blade is ready. Remember your training. As you Local say. units. Local units. Local units. I see the way. Toward glory at last. Where do we go? Yeah, looking back, I, w I really wish I upgraded my pads a little faster than I did. But I've got a few wraiths through now, though, so that's going to help clean these up. I don't think I should have raged those. I just felt like that was a waste of money. Those are very, very expensive to rage. Good push here. He's going to force me to recall because I, I, I don't have anything at home right now. And I'm, I can't really afford to rage, so he's just going to get get right out of there. Local units. Local units. Local units. Local units. My money's pretty low, and I think he has his hook, hook by now. Checking for turrets. No turrets quite yet. Local units. Your orders. Local units. Local units. Powered up. Local units. Got some rates coming out. There's a Spartan there though. His rage is deep. Out of resources. Power terminate. His rage is deep. Out of resources. Power terminate. Got a double barracks up actually. Enemy engagement. Ooh, that Spartan almost got me there. Spartans are sneaky. Local units. Local units. Local units. These rates are gonna put some put some damage down. Local units. Those Spartans just sneak out of nowhere, man. I tell you what. And he gets the hijack off. I'm gonna have to rage these rage these guys down here and he gets a turret up too well, that's no bueno all units here we go on station doesn't have my hook yet but i'm not on a hook at all and that's that's just that's bad play on my part there i should have uh, pulled back a little bit regrouped and that's what I'm going to do right now. All units. We're going. Run offset. Enemy engagement. All units. All right, so I'm thinking about the unit switch here. I'm going to go for Banshees. Local units. Toward glory at last. Warehouse upgraded. Under attack. He's gonna see that there. Ready to move. Moving. Local units. Barracks are both still up there. Local units. Warehouse upgraded. Turret complete. Forward. Local units. I will. 
And I'm gonna queue up a barracks as well, I think for jackals. I think that's what I was uh, what I was going for. Warehouse upgraded. Boost research. All units. Going forward. Where do we go? All units. But I got my money hook. I'm feeling good. He's got that turret up though. That's that's not good. Those railguns just decimate wraiths. Trying to pull the weak one back a little bit. He's building the hogs. That's that's pretty good. Got that wraith coming in. The one that he stole from me. But I built a hunter just to counter that one wraith. And banshees. He's getting himself a depot up right now. Just kind of building up lots of troops here. Threw a grunt in the mix as well. I should probably be moving to the back and, and hitting those turrets right now. But he's got a lot of hogs there. Quite a bit. He does have Grenadier too, which is that's that's not good for me, especially for my my supply pads here. I'm gonna have to you know focus on these, and I'm not gonna be able to micro my units back at home or back at his base. I'm gonna lose all of the or he's gonna lose most most of those there. But I'm kind of all over the place here. I've been letting these turrets get a lot of unnecessary damage. He's got almost maxed out turrets. The rates are pretty much gone. He's going to hijack that, uh, that Banshee there too. Arbiter's dead. Kind of wanted that to happen because of, you know, I just wanted him to have more health, so I rebuild him. Good Mac Blast. It's going to kill a lot of stuff there. And I'm just going to pull back. I'm going to have to. I just can't. I can't fight into that anymore. I keep. I keep pushing when I. I should be massing up. Massing up my forces. Shield research. Local units. But yeah, the longer you let a UNSC build up, it's gonna be a lot more difficult for you. And I'm still on I'm still on tech one. He does have an advanced reactor there. I'm going to opt for double haul. I'm going to... I know he's going all into depots, so I'm, I'm thinking hunters are the way. Got some wolverines up here. Got another turret that just came up there. Got a D-bomb off there. And my Arbiter's just gonna take a lot of damage. Too much damage. And I think, I think he dies, yeah.
So yeah, I'm I'm really not playing very well here. I'm just kind of throw, throwing my units away. Checking if he had that base. Thankfully, he didn't. Well, he might have, but I didn't check the other building slots. All units. I only checked that one space, so there could have been buildings on the other spaces. All units. All units. All units. So D-Bomb's going to be gone for a while. That's one thing I know I got on my side. Tell us where. Into the fight. I'll put that Wraith over there for a little bit of sight. He's gonna push up on my expo here, or not my expo, my, uh, what do you call it, my supply hook. It's a good idea. I'm gonna catch some of his units away from his base here. And I didn't even lose that, so that was a pretty good trade for me. Thinking about pulling some more Wraiths back out. So I'm going to queue up that factory again. Uh, either Wraith or some Locusts too, just so I can I can outrange those turrets. Kind of break into this turtle shell here. That reactor is gone, so there's something else there. Spirit bond, research. Factory, complete. I am chosen. Yeah, I'm going to opt for some Locusts. I'm going to send this Grunt in if I see if I can, you know... Find something. Yeah, I'm switching up my buildings quite a bit, and I wonder if it would have been better just to keep the uh, keep that hall there instead of go for the summit again. Uh, I think my my thought process was, well, he doesn't have tech three, so maybe I can get away with some more banshees. I'm going to put these hunters here in front of this locust and try to snipe that turret there. Keep my arbiter ready. Just see if I can expect any sort of uh, engagement here. Those canister shells just fire from a mile away. And I'm not really going to be able to do much about it. <clears throat> Fiendish return, research. My blade is ready. Local units. My population is still very low, so I should be pumping some more units out. Local units. Local units. Local units. Tell us where. Move into position. No All units. I'm going to get in front of these tanks here. There's quite a bit. There's quite a lot of tanks. Still really isn't the place I want to take this fight. They got all of these turrets around. Just so, so low on units. My, I've got a skeleton crew. Two grunts and... Two friggin' hunters. Yeah, I was I was really indecisive from what I can you know looking back on this game now, I've been really indecisive with sticking with a unit. I think that cost me cost me quite a bit. Local units. Local units. Local units. Local units. 
local units. Enemy engagement. I move. Local units. But yeah, he took me out of my hook over there. That's a good move. I do have tech two, and I'm trying to. I want to take this base here, just so I can get some more. You know. Hopefully more of a macro advantage. All units. All units. All units. All units. And I want to check and see if he has that base over there. These are still boost banshees, by the way, so I think uh Okay, no base yet, but he does have some wolves out. Taking me out of those hooks there. There we go. There's repeating cannon. And re repeating cannon can fight volley fairly well. So if he's only got like two, maybe three wolves, I think I'll be okay. But, yeah, we're kind of at a point where I can't really push into him at all. And I don't quite know what he has. Um, if he's got Marines in those towers, it's... I, I can't remember if he does or not, but... Yeah, it's, it's hard to take Marines out of garrisons with just Banshees. Especially if, if I only have this few Banshees. No turret, so that's good. But I think my Arbiter just insta-died. I wasn't looking, and I just got cannied down. He's on tech four, though. That's that's not good. I'm going to be greedy there and go for a, a supply pad before I even get a shield. I'm going to have to pull out of here because... There's a few, uh, Enemy engagement. A few Wolverines All back units. there. Couldn't see how many. On All units. Attacking. Enemy engagement. Boosters at maximum. Yeah, I'm just, I'm all over my plate. I'm all, all over the place with my units. Warehouse complete. On my way. On All units. Base under attack. All units. He's gonna push up on me right now. We're going to start to trade here. I'm going to have to come home and defend this here. My temple's gone. I can't build anything else. So those do have volley now. A little stronger than normal. Mac blast. We kill a lot of these. All units. All units. Gonna candy down that there. But now that he's focusing that, I should be able to uh, should be able to clean these up. All units. Push back in with some wolves. All units. All units. He does have one really weak tank, I can see there. One weak tank, and I think he's just got one wolf. But I'm gonna opt for a shield right now, so I don't get uh, don't get stripped. These two front buildings are so weak. I, d I don't want to delete them either, so I'm gonna. Now that I got a second expo up, I'm gonna go for a shield. 
No turrets there. Looks like we still got one depot. Arbiter's about to come back out. Shield generator complete. No more waiting. He does have all those garrisons though, so he's gonna have that line of sight. That's that one thing about Cutter with that elephant, you can just drop those marines in all over. That's an upgrade, whatever it might be. It's either power turret or it's dual launchers. And he's even got Goss, too. Local units. Local units. On station. Local units. Local units. Local units. Local units. Keep upgrade complete. Quite a long game this one was. I don't remember it being this long. On station. Local units. Local units. On station. Local units. So I'm just stacking banshees and hunters now. Shield generator complete. But I have absolutely Local absolutely units. no resource elevators. And I'm not on Local tech units. three. Lost a lot of units too. Local units. Local units. He's got dual launchers as well. Local units. Power D bomb's gonna come in. He's got some Spartan tanks. He's got power turret Spartan tanks. Surprisingly, these spirit bond, spirit bond hunters are going to do a little bit better than I thought they would. Building some jackals, some unupgraded jackals against power turret. Top tier strats there. What shall I do? No more waiting. I move. And I think I'm saving up for tech three right now. But I don't have any units, so just kinda hoping he doesn't attack me really. Something I should have done about 20 minutes ago here. Take that back. Age of Reclamation. Research. I'm going to go for a... Try to go for a salt beam. Local units. Local units. Local units. But he's just got too much stuff Local units. for old turnip to handle here. Local units. So our piggy here, he's going to get the first dub. I'm going to throw in the towel. He played very well. I'm proud of him. But we got some more games here. Versus pig and shoes buddy. Another random all match. I'm gonna get Brute this time. It's gonna be Brute versus Anders. 
Uh, Brute's probably the best leader on this map here, so I kind of lucked out. Oh, what's going on here? Uh, that was weird. Like, that video is skipping for some reason? I'm just seeing this now, but... Anyways, we didn't miss too much. Uh, we're in the starting stages here. I'm gonna take this hook. Pretty standard stuff. With the brutes, and then you can just walk right on over to the other one. I'm gonna delay my second pad, it looks like, a little bit. To get, uh, build a second brute. And I'm just going for a cheese this game. I think he went barracks first, from what I can see. But I need to stop him from getting in this, and I do. That is a that's a doesn't seem like a lot, but that's actually huge right there. Um, if I didn't get that, that would have been really tough to take out. That that marine was like full health, and that would have been expensive to to get rid of. I don't know if uh, deleting my temple so early was a good idea. I did get the 250 back for it, but I might have been able to hang on to it for a little bit, little bit longer to make some brutes instead of just grunt brutes. And I'm just gonna push right on up here. Got both of the hooks. I'm gonna start just spamming some grunts out. Local units. Local units. Local units. Making flamers out of this thing, so Local units. I'm gonna take I'm gonna target this. Local units. Send my rally point to actually send those through. He's gonna push my hook. That's actually pretty smart. His flamers are a little weak right now, especially against my Vortex, so taking me out of some money and getting himself some more resources is not a bad idea. Unlock. Got a lot of flamers. But these are not... I believe these are not flashbang. Could be wrong, but I don't I don't think they're flashbang. He would have used the flashbang, right? Yeah. yeah. Especially as Anders, if you get that first reactor up, always go for flashbang. It, costs, it just costs 100. Especially if you're trying to hold off a, a brute with some flamers. It just it makes those flamers a lot more, a lot tougher as well. So now I'm just gonna aim for the main base here. He took me out of both of the money hooks, so that's that's pretty good. Base health, base health is not ideal, just because you know Anders' base is weaker. There's a lot of stuff here. Got double turrets up, so I can... I'm going to try to move those in a little closer. Going to cryo. He's going to come in for some... Warthog aggression is going to target my chieftain down. Not a bad idea, but I'm going to just vortex these. Just 
gonna just keep hitting these hogs as they start to come out. Missed that vortex there, but as long as I can kill this main, that's that's pretty much it. I don't. I'm planning on doing that. Hopefully, before that turret comes up there. I'm gonna try to heal it, but can't do that. I'm just gonna come in and finish it off. So the shittiest brute rush I could have ever done. That was that was not a good brute rush on my part. I uh, was very poor. But we take we take the dub. We cook some bacon. Next up we got Perth outskirts. Another random all. Take on the piggy. I'm gonna get my boy Profit up against Cutter. So, as we all know, Profit is is great, best leader in the game by far. Um, lots of options, you know, honor guards, wheelchair, and ghosts. So I'm gonna be going for some ghosts here. I'm going ghost. Surprisingly, though, he did not take his expo. Usually, as Cutter, that's that's uh that's right away. And I think that's what I was planning on, but he's going for some hogs here. Gotta make sure I don't lose these here. I'm gonna DQ that turret. All units. So he went reactor second. Local unit. That's a very hard counter to factory Local first, so. Um, yeah, I'm pretty much just shut down now because these ghosts are not gonna be able to fight off any sort of any sort of hogs now. Temple's coming up. Can you get our wheelchair man out on the field? For glory. Orders. I am going. Orders. All units. So since we got hogs coming up, I think the play is gonna be wraiths. All units. Go into some unshielded wraiths and try to get those out on the field. All units. For glory. All units. Profits up. I'm gonna fight the uh, fight these hogs with uh, with the profit for that extra DPS. Does a good job picking those ghosts off. I'm gonna have to beam these down here. He is just about, I think. Yep, he is gonna get that profit. Unfortunate. But yeah, without that upgrade, he uh, our man struggles. He doesn't actually struggle. You just have to, you just have to get good at your baby profit micro. I, I can't afford even to queue up a single wraith and I've got I've got no units out
burst rates about to come out. Local units. Local units. Local units. And we're going to play Ring Around the Rosie here. Local units. Local units. On the way. Mr. Wraith's going to defend this factory Local units. with his life. that pad there now I've got two so I can actually kind of split them up a little bit go for the surround get, get a few more shots off I'm gonna catch that hog there I'm gonna catch two hogs But if you see on the mini-map there, there's actually a little Spartan sneaking up. Now what you want to see. Mr. Pick has those ninja Spartans just kind of come out of nowhere. That one's going to die. I'm going to get a sandwich off here. On these three hogs. I don't think these rates can actually move through here. Oh, they can. Okay. I thought that they would have gotten stuck there. Doing a good job putting damage down on these pads. But my rates are going to start to snowball here soon. Just because there's, there's three of them out. About to be four. But we got another Spartan sneaking up behind. Want to take that guy out? Local units. Local units. Local units. Local units. On the way. Local units. Local units. Yeah, I gotta make sure I do All not units. get hijacked. Local units. All units. But out of the shadows, another one comes. And look at that. That split second that I uh, I messed up. And that's going to cost me two wraiths right there. Very, very bad stuff. So my factory is going to go down. I'm going to be down two wraiths. I'm going to kill one of them, though, I think. Do I? Yeah, I do kill one of them. I'm going to go for that other... Go for that other one there. Need to get these Spartan or the not these Spartan these uh these hogs off my base here. It'll lose a wraith and it's, it's not looking good for your boy. Local units. Turret complete. Local units. 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 Maybe turrets earlier would have uh, helped me out a little bit more. Local units. But I'm going to lose all of those rates there. I'm 
and throw a Spartan in a hog. But I'm just I'm just kind of stuck here. It's not too much I can do. He's in the sweet spot for the turrets. And he's going to go for the Mac. But I can't afford Citadel. Local units. And once I saw the Hornets, I knew that was about it cuz you know, yeah, you can't really do too much against those. GG's. GG's. On to the next. I want to thank you for sticking around this long if you have. Uh, we're a little over halfway into the video, and we just got just a couple more games against Mr. Pig. And then we'll be going up against Smooth 2 and Marco Style to round things out. We're going to get Brute Arby on Tundra. You know, they always say you, you save the best for last. You go for the... Uh, you go for the big boys at the end. It's kind of like the whipped cream on top. I'm going to go for Temple first. And I'm going to send this Chieftain on out. Let's see what Mr. Pig's up to here. We're, looks like we're getting a delayed Temple. I think that's Temple third from him. Be queuing up some brute squads here. Get some, get some money. All units, going. I'm gonna try to push onto his base. What? What? Ready. 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 Local units, going. Going. Warehouse complete. Ready. I'll do it. What? These double covey matches, these are just, you know, these are cheese factories. Cheese house. Cheesecake factory. Arbiter's out. Gonna be pretty poor, just like me. Well, maybe not as poor, because I did go temple, uh, did go temple first. Uh, I'm gonna try to stop that. It's gonna be too late. I'm not gonna be able to stop that. So I'm going to just put some damage onto the Arbiter here. He's going to rage my Brutes down. It's a good idea. Local units. Cue up my pad here. Local units. What? Local units. I'm going to force him to spend his money on some rage. He's got some suicide grunts too. I'm going to get out of there. I'm going to take a big fat sui suicide grunt there. Local units. Start upgrading some warehouses. What? Local Got another units. brute coming through. I'm gonna try to do some damage, but yeah, he's just raging them as soon as they come through. That's, that's what you want to do. You want to get them out of the out of the equation. My brute's taking a lot of damage. A lot of damage on the brute. So that's that's not good. He's still green bar and my brute's about red. So take his ghost away. And I'm just gonna let the chief I, I don't think I recall him. There's there's really no point. Citadel upgrade complete. Yeah, I'm just gonna let the chieftain die rather than spend the money to recall him. And then, you know, not have him do anything. Just have him die later, I guess. And I'm gonna go for a shield immediately because I don't have a leader out. He does. And that's just, that's bad news. Bad news for Turnip if he gets here. Just like that. And he's arrived. He's going to stop that shield. 
I'm gonna start throwing up some turrets here. Going on the defense. Ready, ready. I'll do it. All units. All units. I'll do it. Turret complete. All units. Unfortunate that that turret's not going to come up, but I am going to get that warehouse up. So I am on a citadel a little bit faster than him. I'm going to queue my chieftain back up. That's going to be the best, best shot I've I've got here. I'm going to have the chopper do some rams. He doesn't have the upgrade, so that's it's going to do quite a bit of damage actually. Local units. Local units. He's got that suicide grunt out. And he's shooting the plasma rifles at him just to get that uh, little bit of extra DPS before he blows it up. Blows up a pad, that is. He's going to go for the blessed pads. That's what you want to do. Don't go for the unupgraded pads. It's just more cost efficient. Uh, you know, they, they have the same health as an, uh, a non-blessed pad, too, so it's, it's even better to do that. Local Chieftain's out, though. I'm going to queue up Inheritance. But he's going to get a little too greedy with that, uh, with that grunt, so I'm going to be able to able to stop it and that probably would have been dead by now if I uh, hadn't what's the word uh, vortex it that pad would have been would have died oh am I gonna get it up folks shield generator complete. yes we are shields gonna go up you gotta you gotta be, be aware that if you're attacking a building and the shield's being constructed. The shield will go up if you do not target the building. Or, I'm sorry, the, the center. You know what I mean, like the uh, the citadel. This brute's going to get caught out in the open. That's unfortunate. Could have kind of... Should have ran him away a little, easy, little, little further. All units. You know, everybody in the high level Halo Wars community, they do not like the shields. They say that if you build a shield, you are a noob. But I love shields, man. I say shield, shield second. Temple first, shield second. I'm going to throw this brute into, into the garrison there. Uh... If I kill all those rebels down there, you get a lot of money. So that's what I'm. That's the plan right now. Warehouse upgraded. What? I'm going. Going. Local units. Uh, not sure why I'm attacking that turret. Probably just be better to hit the rebels and stay out of range of the turret. Going for banshees. So I know I'm going to have to get to tech 2. This turret should come up though. Turret complete. That's going to be nice. So he's going to be nowhere near tech 2 with all the money he's spending right now on vamp or not vamp on banshees and rage so pretty confident here my shield can hold up for a little bit. I think he got the upgrade on his arbiter. It, it looks like he did. All units. All units. I'm gonna put these vampires 
back on that cliff wall because you can see the arbiter can't get to them if he's over here if he is above that and that's going to help defend this uh summit a little better all units and have the chieftain come in too put some dps on this really weak all units really weak arbiter But he's looking for my, looking for my vamps. He's not going to be able to find them. They're hiding. Local units. What? All units. Does get the summit. Oh, All he units. does kill the summit, but I'm going to be able to uh, kind of run these away here. Shouldn't have stopped there. I'm gonna just vortex this guy and get him out of my hair. All units. Repositioning. All units. But now that I got some vamps out, I'm feeling pretty good. I'm gonna queue up that base here. All units. Going. Gonna have to, he's gonna have to pull back. All units. Got to shield up himself. That's smart. Going. Summit complete. All units. What? All units. Shield generator complete. All units. Yes. What? All units. Going. What? But I'm what? I'm All most units. positive that he has not had time to clear himself an expo. Or really get that many vamps out, for that matter. What? The fight is here. Going. All units. Repositioning. Shields coming up. All units. We're gonna take over. Oh, he's still on tech. He's still on tech one. Yeah. All units. Enemy engagement. No bueno. units move up yes all units Tell us where warehouse you. complete all units vampire loaded up Command. vampire numbers are rising all units going chieftain's pretty weak all units. i i don't have to do too much at this all point units. it's just kind of hang back i i really can't push into anything right now I can't fight his shielded base with, with just vamps. But if you secure the lead, the vamp lead, you're usually in a good spot. His Arbiter's back. Going to come right on over in my corner there. Summit complete. Local units. Target spotted. Vampire online. All units. Repositioning. We're moving. All units. But the RP really can't do too much except, uh, you know, just kind of sit there and flash his swords. I mean, unless he has just a million suicide grunts, he's not going to really be able to take me out of, you know, or, or kill anything that I have here. I was thinking about taking this over here. I've got a brute squad left over in that uh, left over in that tower, so I could make use of him. Target sighted. Going now. Vampire loaded up. 
We're moving. We'll get him. Command. All units. All units. All units. All units. But I'm be I'm gonna be able to catch All these units. vamps here. Didn't have too many, and I'm I'm already on a, an expo here. He's gonna get a grunt in there, and actually he's gonna teach me something new. I did not know that that mega turret could hit air units like that. As you can see, it melted that vampire that was in the way, uh, and I'm gonna be able to take him out of that. And uh, with that, he's just gonna realize that it he's not gonna be able to catch up in terms of vamp numbers and. In the economy, so that's that's gonna be it there for that one. All right, now we got release coming up here. Map we haven't played yet today. Really good. <clears throat> wow, I just went back to my 14-year-old voice there. Really, really, really good map. Brute mirror. Basically, there's a lot of monkeys in this match. A lot of hairy. Monkeys with grenade launchers. I'll do it. That's what this matchup is all about. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna get these crates here. I'm gonna send my send my chopper in to try and get some crates over there. Deny him of some some money if at all possible. There's some there. And I noticed on my mini map there, it looks like I walked past a. I, I missed those crates, but I'm, I'm not going back. I'm on a mission. I'm heading right on over to, Piggy's base. I think this is gonna be my my longest commentary video. If I'm not mistaken, I we're at, we just passed the two hour mark and I've got a little bit more to go. Let's see how long, how many more clips I've got here. I've got, yeah, I think we're just gonna crack a little bit under three hours here. So I hope you guys have been enjoying it. Make sure you leave a like on the video if you made it this far. Don't forget to comment what other videos you'd like to see. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna be pushing up here. He did throw a turret up, but that's not going to bother me much. I'm going to just keep pumping these brutes out. I'm going to head back for that uh, for that pile of crates there. I'm just going to I'm going to just keep stacking these brutes up here. I see he's doing some turrets and. You know, the more I can stack up, the more, uh, you know, more powerful we'll be. I'm also thinking about growing the beard out again. Not quite sure. It's, it's uh, it's on my mind, that's, that's for sure. Pondering it. No turret on the left there. But his brute's on my base. Now's my time to strike. I'm gonna unlock all I got here. Local units. Go. Gonna get some, uh, get a vortex off there. Local units. Start sending everything I've got through. He's going to be going for main. I'm going to be going for main. I'll be going for some cheese, folks. I'm going to delete the temple. I'm going to go for citadel. Units. Units. Out of 
Just gonna try to get as much damage as I can before he gets Citadel. So I am gonna be able to, I'm gonna be able to get him red bar. But he's gonna port, he's gonna get some jackals out. I got his base. I'm gonna head back now and just try to try to save mine if I can. Yeah, the, the game's pretty much over at this point, though. Even if my base dies, I mean, he's got a timer that he's gotta. Got a 60 second timer that's going right now. Local units. Attack. I'm gonna de just delete these pads. I know it's blasphemous, but I need the money to buy a base. Just in case, just to be safe. And that's all I'm gonna do. I'm gonna buy the base. And that's going to be that. That's the end of that one. All units. So we have just one last game, per se, against Pig. But um, Local units. when he saw, you know, he saw Shoes Buddy get profit and he was, he was the feeble brute. He just, he didn't want to smoke. So uh, he, uh, he just decided to tap out early. You are victorious. And uh, then I, I sent him a, a little message here. I wanted to know if he if he knew Turnip or not. Uh, Pig still didn't know it was me, and he, he came into our Discord, and he was he started asking for advice on on certain matchups, and uh, you know I was asking him, hey, did you just play, you know, how to how to go, and he was like, oh man, you know, last few games were pretty rough. It was kind of even at some points, but then it was it was pretty rough, and then. You know, I, I revealed myself to be, to be Shoes Buddy all along, and he was, he was dumbfounded. Ready. Okay, here is <clears throat> our first game against Marco Style, NL. Marco Style, NL stands for uh, Never Lose, or the Netherlands in some case, because that's where he's from. So, if you don't know who this is, Marco Style is. Ready. He's a YouTuber. Uh, he currently plays a lot of Destiny 2 and uh, The Division. But he started out his channel on Halo Wars. And he might have been... He might have been the biggest 1v1 Halo Wars player uh, for, his, for his time. But he has since privated all of his content. He doesn't want to share the goodies with anybody anymore. But he still plays on occasion. And I have to say, he he might be top three players of all time. It, it's really hard to say, but he's just, he's very, very good at the game. So good that you don't know if you're just screwing up or if he's just toying with you, if he's just playing with you. Local units. He's just, you know... And you're kind of like the mouse, and the cat's just kind of pawing at you. It, it could slice you at any moment it wants, but it decides not to. However, we're going to show him the turnip style here, and he's going to miss that brute. He's going to try to ram it, but he, he missed it. Uh, I'm going to go temple first, just to try to get really early control of this resource elevator. Local units. He's got a barracks up. Local units. So I'm gonna go for hall. Try to get some jackals out. Local units. Secure this here. Local units. Hall complete. I'll do it. I'll do it. What? So I did not see a reactor super early, so I'm not too worried about warhogs at the moment. 
I'll do it. What? What? So we've got a little bit of time to spare. <clears throat> that brute's pretty weak. Local units. What? Local but he's going to still get to that money regardless. What? Oh, I did queue up a turret. Okay. What? Never mind. What? 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 Going. I'll do it. I'll do it. Going. Ready. Ready. What? Defense Go. gauntlet. Research. Looking for some more crates with this brute here. Ready. Ready. What? Local units. Going. I'll do it. What? I got a turret up there. Oh yeah, I remember why. I, I built that turret there so I couldn't get camped. So like none of my uh, units that were waiting, they couldn't just, you know, get camped right there. I'm gonna have to come back here because I don't have any, you know, any real defense to this at the moment. So I'm gonna just send the chieftain through. There we got a double barracks up, Local or units. not a double barracks, double reactor, rather. Local units. What? Local units. I'll do it. Call complete. Some Local good damage on those. He's got some flamers coming up here, engagement. but I've got some. Local units. Got some jackals right Local in units. in here, so I can take this take this right back. Ready. Local units. I'll do it. Local units. What? Local units. Enemy engagement. Local units. Didn't really commit too Local much units. to Warehouse the hogs, complete. so... Uh, I think I'll be okay for now. He still has the barracks up. He's using those hogs that he has to just do... Do a little bit of damage. Inheritance Those pads reset. there. What? Just gonna force me to come back and waste my time. Going. Local units. <clears throat> Local units. Local units. Got that tower there. Local units. Going. So he's still Local committing units. heavily into the infantry. So I'm gonna just I'm gonna keep making some jackals here. Local units. Ready for action. Local units. Vortex upgraded. Local units. I'm gonna upgrade Local my vortex units. because you know it just does a lot better against upgraded flamers. Out of resources. Power Get some good damage off on that guy there. Yeah, just look how easily that kills that. Power some turrets here. Still has a barracks up. Local Take units. that over for myself. I'm gonna delete one of those Local halls units. there. I'm gonna opt for a summit Local units. because he doesn't Local have any units. vehicle depots up. I'm gonna try to stack some banshee numbers up. Local units. Local Maybe get some engineers units. out on this, uh, this chieftain. Summit complete. Local units. Yeah, something I, I learned from Marco, actually. You can get away, if you're good enough, with just going all Chieftain. You just need a lot of engineers, especially if they're building a lot of flamers. Gonna go for the Mac Blast, but... He's gonna miss. That's, that's the turnip style right there. That's what we do. We're never getting hit by those. But when I'm on his base here, I am giving up my 
my hook over there. And I will be able to take this out here. So I'm putting a little bit of damage off. A little bit of damage done on these guys here. This flamer is still super... Or not flamer, this... Chieftain's very weak. Local units. Engineer ready. Local units. Local units. I got three of these uh three engineers now, so that's gonna be pretty good to heal this chieftain up. Now, I swear I told that guy to attack that supply pad, but he just ran off over there for some reason. I must have not clicked it. And at this point, I just, I don't want to lose that chieftain. Because I've got these engineers I invested into, so I'm going to just recall him. And surprisingly, my, my supply elevator lived. I thought it would have died for sure, but... I guess not. Local units. All units going. All units going. I'm gonna get healed up on this chief daddy here and just gonna like turtle up really. Get some more units back out. I feel like I'm not in a terrible position because he's just still on a barracks. Local units. Waypoint acknowledged. But then again, you never you never really know. Is it like, oh, is he just not really trying that hard? Or am I actually putting in the work, you know? I lost that. I'm gonna go for all all turrets on my base. <laughs> it really helps with flamers. Flamers don't do too much. Surprisingly, they don't do do too much base damage. Local units going. What going? Local so I'm gonna delete that for a another summit, actually. Or no way, did I do summit? Yeah, yeah, I did a summit. Local units going. Local units. And we're just gonna push right on in. Local units. Local units. Attack. Local units. Local units. I'm gonna hit these turrets first. Local and I can still make brute squads, so that's gonna be some good DPS. But I do not have any hooks whatsoever. <clears throat> I don't have any of the money. I'm gonna check that out over there. I see he's got an advanced reactor. And he does have this base, so I'm gonna start shooting that down as well. Here come some flamers. <clears throat> A lot of flamers here.
He had a Spartan back there, so he hijacked that other Banshee. Gonna stop me from shooting that other base there while I'm dealing with this. Kind of annoying. He's throwing up a depot over there. Local units. Local units. Local units. Local units. I'm gonna target down this advanced reactor. I think that's gonna be a huge, huge crushing blow if I were able to uh, take that down. Local units. Local units. He's making some marines still. Enemy Local units. So he's off tech three, but he could have queued up a, a, a bit of them now. All units. Ready to fight. Ready to attack. Local units. Okay, I'm going to get that base. He's looking pretty good. He's looking all right. He does have a few wolves up. Getting some wolves, some marines, and some turrets up. Just these banshees are not having fun here. Those are the things I really need to take out, but he just keeps a, he's being a little scoundrel with them. So uh, I want to just consolidate my my stuff here. You know, there's Tiny Shoe. What's up, Tiny Shoe? I opt to try to take this back. Something I should have done a long time ago, probably. And I'm still on Tech 1, also. But he's got some, he's got those wolves here. Those things are just really very fast. So he's he's just gonna be very very safe with them and get a lot of value, a lot of value out of them. <clears throat> I'm gonna take this back with that grunt there. All units, enemy engagement. Local units. So now I'm getting some getting some money back, but Captain Cutter has those extra building slots. And he's got that he's got that elephant up too, and he I believe he's already upgraded all of his infantry. So once your infantry is upgraded and you just have an elephant, you're uh, you're not looking too bad. Get my chieftain upgrade, and he's just gonna go all turrets. Got a bunch of missile turrets, and he's got his Spartans in those. Uh, he's got his Spartans in the elephant and that Wolverine. But he's he's already on Tech Three again, so he must have had a lot of money. Dante's back, looking at me. He's standing in front of the screen again. Local units. 
kind of sniffing around. Now he's blocking the screen. Sort of looking at me. Can't really see what's going on right now. See some banshees kind of over his ears. Local units. Going. A kitty cat. Enemy engagement. Going. Going. All units. Boosters activated. But he's throwing those marines into the into the garrisons around me. All units. So kind of tough to deal with. Just because these banshees are just they suck at fighting those. I'm gonna get that. I get that stun off, so that's nice. Be able to kill that. And I finally get repeating cannon like I don't know, twenty minutes into this game. All units. That's that should be something I prioritize a little earlier. Send me in. Local units. Going. Going. What? Local units. But now I have no hooks again. Units. What? Let's send Local these through units. here. Chieftain's going to be tanking all of this damage. He was, he was the first one to run through, so he's the target of all of those turrets right now. Kind of a little bad mic. That's, that's bad micro right there. Just gonna lose all all of my stuff there. Local units. That's Spartans too. Local units. And the the weight of this game, the the winds, kind of blown in the other direction now. Local units. Local units. Units. That's nice though. I killed that thing, but I'm gonna lose my. No, I don't. I don't even think I can kill that. Might be a little too strong for me. Local units. All units. Local units. Ready to go. Local units. What? Local units. Going. What? Going. I'm gonna try to take this back. What? All units. Local Throw some jackals in there. Just looking for anything I can really do. I don't even think those hunters have bonded shield. No, they don't. Those are just tech zero hunters right there. Local units. Those, I don't know if those Wolverines will honestly just be able to fight those things. Engineer ready. Local units. But I have like no units and he's got the entire map and UNSC late game is just so troublesome to deal with. Well, at least I've got that one engineer. Well, that's uh, that's something. Local units. Going. 
Local units. Local units. Local units. Still don't have beam rifle. All complete. Base under attack. Local units. But yeah, he's gonna come in and volley that supply pad. Mac, my chieftain. Or, no, he didn't die. Okay, I thought he did. He misses the Mac. Marco misses his Max. And then he's he's got ODST. So I'm like, I rage quit at that point. I'm like, okay, there's there's really nothing I can do. But uh, we'll come back to Marco style a little bit later. Now we're gonna meet our friend from the Far East. Uh, smooth tube. I would say the best player of all time. Smooth tube, great player. All units. And allegedly, he has never spoken a word to anybody, but somehow he's just Local units. is ultra Local super saiyan units. at this game. Local units. Local units. So I'd love to talk to him someday. I'd actually love to bring him on the channel for an interview. Um, I don't know if he knows too much English. I know a little bit of Japanese, you know. I would say a little, it's a conversational, nothing nothing crazy, but anybody uh, has contact with him, uh, I'd be willing to, you know, offer him an interview, a, a paid interview, just to kind of uh, get, the, get the man behind the legend but anyways it's gonna be Anders cutter so leader wise this should be this should be an Anders advantage because of the gremlins and we, we traded hogs there I'm gonna get gunner here momentarily I'm gonna see if I can kill this one but he run ran the ran the other way was a little too slow. Local units. Local units. Sent that red bar hog back to my base to co to collect supplies. You never want to keep those ones out on the front lines because who knows, right? They probably end up getting their their teeth kicked in. All units. I've got gunner. I'm gonna All units. I'm gonna walk on out here, see what I can find. Group up all of these warthogs. He's got his reactor up. I don't know if he's queued gunner yet. Probably has. And there they are. So I'm gonna lose. I'm gonna lose those hogs there. I probably shouldn't even have been pushing. You know, pushing into the defender's advantage, and he had more hogs than me. So already we're off to a we're off to a great start, but I'm gonna go for fortress here. I have no pads upgraded. He's gonna clear that out. All right. Local units. Let's go. Yes, sir. Local units. Go get some. Let's go. Local units. Local units. He's got his depot coming up already. I was like, how in the actual world does he have this Local depot units. up? But it, it makes sense because, you know, He's Captain Cutter. Um, I don't know. I, I can't. I, I don't think he upgraded his pads. I couldn't. I couldn't see. 
But he didn't have to spend that extra 400 resources on the fortress. So we got a little bit faster. A little bit faster tech there. All units. All units. I'm just thinking in my mind, like, any way I can slow him down right now. I'm just looking for an opportunity. All units. All units. Local units. All units. Supply pad upgraded. All units. I'm going to get some gremlins out because, you know, he's got a depot up, and that's my advantage as Anders. I'm going to try to stack those. Local units. Upgrade. Comes to hog to scout things out. And I want to see if he got this base yet. He just did. But he's already got a tank over here. Local units. Let's go. Rock and roll. All units. All units. All units. So he's just got some stock tanks coming out. I probably should have been clearing that a lot faster than I than I did. Because there is money there to be taken. It's not too often you get to play against uh, uh, people of this caliber. They, you know, things like they're just not online doing other things, playing other game modes, so it's always a treat when you get to play against people that are people that are better than you. So I'm gonna just keep stacking these gremlins here. Keep on keeping on. Send that warthog in. Enemy engagement. He sent his hog in, so he kind of knows where I am with these gremlins. Local units. Local units. Got that up. Local units. Yes, sir. Online Local units. All units. On the move. Local units. Ready for combat. Local units. I'm gonna be able to stun a lot of those. But I didn't want to lose that tank. I just kind of ran him headfirst in there. So thankfully, I actually didn't lose anything in that engagement. Besides the Warthog. The stuns are uh, coming back. And if I can stack up enough of these gremlins here, it should be looking okay. Send the gremlins to the back. Probably send that tank, not the red red bar. There we go. Yeah, move that red bar tank to the back. Come around the side here. So he does have an expo. Um, I probably should have picked mine up as well. But I was I was really really trying to find those those tanks beforehand. I've got a lot of these gremlins, and he's doing a good job of hiding his tanks. Local units. Local units. Local units. Yeah, there they are. I'm assuming they're somewhere in this area here. Local units. Local units. 
He does have canister shell. I'm gonna get I'm gonna get a tank kill. Local units. Local units. But I did lose a Local few units. gremlins, and that's never good. Local units. Local units. Local units. So you can see what he's doing. He's targeting the gremlins first. Those are the biggest threat. That's definitely what you want to do. The the canister shells can pretty much just like one tap a gremlin. Especially without focusing lens like these here. Local units. Local units. Local units. That might have been a bad stun because I really can't do anything with this gremlin. Local units. No, no point. I'm just gonna run away from it. Local units. But he is down a tank, but I'm down a few gremlins. Local units. Local units. Local units. Local units. He's got just a lot of tanks. Local units. Local units. Local units. Local units. Local units. I'm there. Local units. Local units. But at this point I've I've already lost the game. It's just I've lost too many units. I tried to be too aggressive, and uh, he got the canister shell and was just able to, you know, pick off those gremlins. All units. I'll do it. All right, now we're gonna get a brute, local brute profit matchup. Out. Local units. Same map, also against Smooth Tube. Engines running. Local units. Got it. Ready to local roll. units. Local units. Local units. Not. Local units. Local units. On it. I'll do it. On my way. Ready to go. Local units. Local units. Local units. He's gonna get some damage off on this chopper here. Local units. Rolling out. You got it. I'm gonna just send this chopper off. I was trying to get a ram off, but I could I just couldn't do it. Yeah, I, sh I should be really queuing these buildings up, uh, you know, putting them in line, putting them in, in queue, because I've got the money, there's just no reason to get that delay on those. And I know he's Prophet, so he's going to have those Honor Guards, it's going to be kind of difficult to, uh, you know, push into this, so my, you know, my thought process is to go Inheritance, get myself a stronger Chieftain and try to take down any of these honor guards that he might have waiting for me. Up. Got it. What now? Ready to roll. Why not? Inheritance research. So there's the uh, There's the prophet, baby prophet. Local units. He was probably just out collecting some crates. Local units. Local units. Local units. Good times. Where to? Local units. He does have some elites there. Local units. Warehouse complete. Let's try to kill some here, get some damage off. About time. Local units. Where to? Ready. Yes. Easy enough. But he's got too many for me to really engage, even though I have inheritance. I want to keep some health on this guy. I'm just going to be annoying. Try to, try to keep him contained over here while I can tech up a little bit. My thought process is, while well, I did make him commit to a lot of those honor guards, you know, that's 400 there. No, that's actually four. No, that's 500 resources. 500 resources because they cost 125 each, so. We should be just about even in terms of uh, where we are. So we both got Citadel. Enemy in 
I don't have any of these pads upgraded. What now? Local units. Local units. But he's getting that. He's getting that built up there. Local units. On my way. All set. Moving. Rolling out. Uh huh. Easy enough. I believe my idea at this point is vampires. Or it could be double summit. Double summit uh, banshees. Because he doesn't have anything besides that prophet that can that can deal with it. And if I can stop his summit from coming up, that's even better. Local units. As you wish. Local units. Local units. Local units. Local units. Local units. And these are kind of units. how these cubby mirrors go if they don't end in the first five minutes Local of the game. Units. You're both just checking into checking into summits usually, or possibly trying to go all in on a on the attack. Local units moving. Ready. Now. Summit complete. Point me at them. Going. Yeah. Local units. What do you? So I'm going to do something a little different. I'm going to opt for double summit vamps because I know he's just on a single summit. So my eco is going to be a little worse than his, but I'm going to try to try to try to build some some vamps here. I'm going to go for stasis drain. Still don't have that back pad upgraded. What now? It's kind of annoying me. See that pad mocking me there. Did I click on that building? No, okay, he still does have that. Local units. Where to? Moving. Local units. Now. Enemy engagement. So he's already got some vamps out. He did not upgrade his first, so I know that I've got a advantage there. And he he sees that I'm gonna be going double summit vamps. So he's gonna he's gonna delete a pad. He knows that he has to He's gotta do that just to maintain Maintain the uh, production with me. And he's just gonna shoot this chieftain down because you know if I I don't have any money to vortex it really. All units. All units. But I'm thinking that I've got my upgrade before him, and I'm I'm with the chieftain here. So I'm gonna try to do something here. I don't know I don't know what. Maybe not my my best idea. All units. Where do we go? Enemy engagement. Units. All units. Vampire online. All units. All units. But he's gonna push in right now because he knows he has All the vampire units. lead. He can just come and do this free damage here. Local units. I don't even think he has stasis drain. Local units. Local units. Local units. He could though. Those things are pretty strong. And look at that. He's got all of those honor guards that he saved up. He's making really good use of all of his units. All units. All units. All units. So yeah, at this point, with me losing that pad, losing the vampire numbers, it's it's over. I've uh, I've already lost because I can't uh, you know I can't keep up with this here. So. GG. Okay, this is our last game against Smooth Tube here. I get the Almighty Prophet, so we're at a massive advantage already against the the Beta Male Captain Cutter. Local units. 
For honor, going now. Heading there, now. Local units. I'm gonna claim this stack of crates here with my ghost. He's not gonna be able to... He's not gonna... He. I mean, he could probably ram me, but he just doesn't want to risk losing the health on those hogs. I'm gonna go for temple second. And uh, try... I want to try and pick up some more crates on my side here. You can see what he's doing. He's sending all of his hogs to my side of the map. Because that's where the prophet, you know, the prophet is going to be in close proximity. So he's he's trying to deny my prophet access to those uh, those crates. So those are still there. I just queued that turret up to get the vision on it. Local units. Local units. Local units. Very well. Yeah, so it's it's all all of these actions and moves that these these higher level players are doing. It's there's always a purpose behind it, always some reasoning to it. Just on a different different level. I don't think he rammed me there, but he came to look for those crates. And I'm gonna come back over here and try to pick these up. Force his warthog to go away, but look, it's already gone. So he might have used two or three hogs just because that was a pretty fast pickup. Turret complete. What needs I'm gonna go for a turret as well because I know he's gonna be going going for gunner. And uh, yeah, there's no crates over here for me to pick up now. Local units. Right now, I will. I serve. Local units. Really should run this Local ghost away. Units. I am ready. Local units. Is that all? Ready. What? I'm gonna just have my profit start shooting at this thing. Because, you know, it'll give you money if you kill it. So might as well do something productive. As you come out. Factory complete. What needs doing? What right now? Local units. Moving. Base under attack. Here come the hogs. I went for the upgrade of my profit as well. Just because, you know, they do decent against gunner hogs, that uh, that upgrade there. Got a pretty awful economy right now. Three pads, one upgraded. Or he's on a cutter base. Lots of pads. What needs doing? I'll go. Yes, of course. All units. Got a lot of warthogs. So many. Even though he's taking some damage, just being able for him able to take out that local units. That supply pad there. It's huge. What is it? And I probably shouldn't I think that was my upgraded one too. I shouldn't have put that one in such a vulnerable position. What? All units. Might have wanna put that supply pad where that factory is and have that factory there instead. Because my turret's in the corner already, so it's not really doing anything. Very well. Just kinda of sitting there. And then if you wanted to go back and attack those where those supply paths, it'd be a lot easier place to catch because those wraiths can kind of block you off from going uh, going through there. So it's just a little details. These are these are some those are some of the details I learned a lot after I, I played this game. Not not this not Halo Wars, but this this match right here. Uh, I was going through a a lot of training sessions with Marco. He's kind enough to uh, show me some some pointers, give me some some tips and tricks, as it were. And that's uh, kind of what what this last game, not not the one here that we're playing, but the next game coming up, the final game, I'll actually be leaving you because it's just uh, it's a little different style. It's it's a live feedback, like Marco and I are playing the game 
as we're talking about it. So you'll get to enjoy that and kind of see a little bit of the mindset. Local units. Local units. You know, I, I always like to give uh, give those smaller channels like Marco's a little bit of exposure. I know he's he's not too big in the Halo War scene, so I'll I'll definitely uh, you know I'll I'll link his channel down below. I'm I'm sure he would greatly appreciate that. Send the profit up here. Put some damage on this. He's just got so much shit. I'm scared. Got some damage off, though. Getting some wraiths out. They get heavy shield on them. I don't know if that was a good idea to delete that summit there. We'll see how it pays off for me. Heavy shield. Research. Local units. Moving. Orders. I'm ready. Factory. Complete. I go. Local units. Local units. So I'm going to push in with the rest of my wraiths here. This game is going to come to a close Local units. fairly soon. Um, so I just wanted to thank you guys for watching this, sticking around. Uh, just a reminder, like I said a few minutes ago, there is going to be one more game with that, that live commentary. And uh, yeah, thanks for making it all the way through if you did. This is almost a three hour... No, it is. We're at the three hour mark. Um, thank you so much for supporting me and watching these videos. I appreciate the patience. I know this one kind of took a while, but... I wanted to get some decent games and, you know, with my trip, I was kind of a little, little busy. But I'm working on some more projects for you. Stick around for some streams on Saturdays and, uh, yeah. I'll just kind of close this one out here. So he's just, he's done a great job keeping literally, like, seems like every unit alive. And he's got Grenadier. I'm assuming he's on an expo. And my profit's just going to have to come out of there. Didn't really build as many tanks as I thought he would. But maybe, uh, you know, staying with race was actually the good, a good idea because he kept, kept building hogs from what it looked like. But still, I've, I've kind of lost all of my, all of my units and he's still got plenty. And he's going to be getting goss, so that's going to be it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks a lot. Either side, so it's not like a super far walk for him. Well, you just send them to both sides. And then one's going to get stopped usually, but you get the other one. Yeah. Pretty much guaranteed. Because you escort it with hawks as well if you need to. So the ghost doesn't... All units. Oh, this is instant oh. expo, right? All units. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> there's no way... Uh, no, there's nothing. Do you queue up a, I, a hog with your free crates right now, or do you save those? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I queue up an extra hog. Okay. And do you... It also helps protect the marine. Okay, yeah. Do you, are you going to put up a barracks on your new base, or are you going for a reactor? Yes. No, no, I'm going uh, for barracks. Supply pad complete. Yeah, this is one of the few matchups that I just find so boring to play that I don't actually know the ideal way to get the fastest tank out with the most eco sure. possible. I just kind of wing it every time I play this matchup uh, because I just find it incredibly boring. Yeah. So I haven't really, like I'm going to be honest, I don't really know what I'm doing here. I usually just go barrack second, react to fourth on my expo and then queue up the depot. I'm sure there's a better way to do it, but probably it works every time. You said barracks second, reactor fourth on your main? On my expo. Oh, reactor fourth on your expo. Yeah, I just go all pets on my main, so when they go and harass me on my main base, they can't kill any important buildings. Oh. So I can just play from my expo. Oh, Pretty that's much. a good way of thinking about it.
you don't like split your infrastructure up so they can't like no 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 i just put all other created fads and i just put all the important stuff on oh. and then it's stronger too because it's the fortress yeah exactly so even if they push even if they push my main i can just you know i can just trade a path for mm -hmm. a tank that i can canny and then we're good all units okay okay that's uh bad spot bad spot units you had that barracks up earlier than me. Yeah. I'm slacking. One B first. We'll see if it pays off. We're just copying builds now. I think it's it's just you know. I actually light. I do upgrade pads while I'm waiting for my reactor to get up, and I have tech one. So I do I do it on my main base, uh, the back pads. Okay. Supply pad complete. I think I can usually afford two. Yeah, I think two is the way. Supply pad complete. Or is it? I I like I don't even know. I'm just kind of winging it. Yeah. Again, like. <laughs> <laughs> I remember we played one game on this map and it was pretty close. I can't remember yeah. what the matchup was. I just, I, I just don't know what I'm doing. Yeah. I'm just... Enemy engagement. It's just, yeah. Are you going for two depots or just one? Nah, just one. I mean, I, I should go for two Local depots, units. but... Uh... I like to go for Spartan on this map too. Do yeah. Or for early. Local units. Local so you just write your vehicle depot complete. Enemy engaged. Okay, so that's that's a tech up. I'm just gonna Local also units. tech up, I guess. Supply pad complete. Local gotcha. Units. That was huge. Yup. Big place. Big. See if I, I split these hogs and you can't chase them. Local units. You only lose maximum of one. Local no, I just turn uh -huh. around for the ram. Boom. Local units. Local units. Okay, so you down tech as well? Yeah, big big ball plays. I mean I probably should as well, but I'm just not gonna. Units. I'm probably gonna lose this one just because I want to try something new. Oh, I'll find. Actually, don't worry. I'll I'll find a way. I'll find a way to fuck up any lead I've acquired. <laughs> so yeah, I'm clearing my expo for money, yep. and then if I ever need to take it, I can take it. <sighs> I think I have an idea of what you're doing. It's not too complicated. It's just a single depot with Spartan tanks. Oh, okay. I, I do like that idea of not... So do you ever put any infrastructure in any matchup on your main? Or only just with Cutter? Uh, yeah, it's Anders. I, I mean, I have a reactor on my main now because I'm trying out some new stuff. But yeah, it's Anders. I mm -hmm. a lot actually. I mean, it, maybe it's not even completely true what I said. I just, I just can't remember. I just sure. bring this much up so often that, like to be honest, I don't even have a clue. It's just so boring to me, so I never bothered. Right. Also, no one plays Cutter. Units. Cutter's OP, bro. Sure. Local units. Here we go. All units. Yes, sir. All units. On the move. Firing on Enemy top. engagement. Yes, sir. Pulling out. Pulling out. Ready. All units. 
units. Yeah, I'm not sure how this is gonna go. All units. Take them out. All units. All units. All units. All units. All units. All units. I mean, I'm forcing you to build a barracks now. All units. All units. Reactor complete. You know, I'm just gonna say that that one should have lived. <laughs> Local units. Local units. Local units. Local units. Local units. Unlucky. I think if that one tank made it, I probably probably could have won, but. Nah, uh, you have to go double Local depot units. on this map. Local units. Local units. There's no way I can hold off with a single depot. Let's go. Okay, okay. So, I'm sorry. I'm just re I'm just reveling here for a moment.